The diagram shows a sector AOB of a circle center O and radius R. Angle AOB is 72 degrees. Express 72 degrees exactly in radians, simplifying your answer. The area of the sector AOB is 45 pi centimeters squared. Find the value of R. Find the area of the segment bounded by the arc AB and the chord AB, giving your answer correct to three significant figures. So here's the question then. So let's do the first part. Express this exactly, 72 in radians, or a fraction of a circle, the fraction 72 is 72 of 360 degrees. Fraction of is times, the circle in radians is 2 pi. So we can cancel by 2, 180, then another uh, 4, 36, 18, and cancel that by 4, 90 and 45. There's a, a 9 common, that's 2 9s, and that's 5. So it's equal to 2 pi over 5. So that's that. The area AOB is 45 pi centimeters squared. Find R. So the area is equal to 45 pi centimeters squared is equal to. Now the area of a whole circle is pi r squared. As a fraction of 2 pi, it's 2. It could be written like this, couldn't it? That's still pi r squared. So that tells us that's for a whole circle. So that's a reminder then for the angle. We've got an arc angle theta part of a circle, then it's just going to be a half r squared theta. So this is a half r squared times theta, which is 2 pi over 5. So we just wrote this thing down just to remember the formula, if we need to, just as a memory aid. So here's the formula then, half r squared theta. Pi's cancel. Uh, the 5 can move up. The 2's will cancel. And here you've got 9 5 times another 5. So that tells us that r squared equals 45 times 5 is 225. Uh, 225. And so square root of both sides, r is equal to 15 centimeters. r is positive. So we just take the positive solution. So there's r then for part 2. Part 3, find the area of the segment bounded by the arc AB and the chord AB. So we've got the area is 45 pi. So let's just draw this then. The total area, I'll use the diagram here, is equal to 45 pi centimeters squared. Now this triangle here is going to be this distance 72 so this is 36 this radius here um, the radius is 15 centimeters okay so um, right so we've got 15 we've got 36 angle this is 90 so we can work out these sides can't we Half base times height. This is 15. This distance here is 15 sine 36, isn't it? And this distance here is 15 cosine 36 degrees. So area, area 2 then. This is area 1. Just move this down slightly. Um, area 2 would be half base which is this, so that would be 15 sine 36 times height, which is 15 cos 36. So the difference then will be the difference between these two things here. So what I'm going to do now is just copy these two things that we've just written down. And I'm just going to move them down now and we'll tidy it up. So here's the two areas for part three then. Um, so the answer will be the difference.
between the two. The bigger area, the 45 pi, take away the 15 squared times sine 36 times cosine 36 degrees. And then that will be a unit squared measure, won't it? So it's 45 times pi minus 15 squared times sine of 36 times cosine of 36 degrees. And we're in degrees mode, so we press equals, and we get 34.377. The three significant figures is 34.4, 34.4 centimeters squared.